my interest in, in the, the younger generation and, and, and uh, the internet comes a lot with my work with OneWeb Days because for many reasons, the younger generation doesn't have a lot of access to IGF, to ICANN, to WIPO, here in the US, to the FCC. Uh, but one thing that I've found is One Web Day has been a vehicle for them to express their interest in policy questions, uh, to express their interest in the future of, of technology and, and how it's entangled in their lives. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to hearing uh, about these topics from our, our panelists. For anyone who uses Facebook would know that Facebook chat, like instant messaging, is terrible. It breaks down um, very often, not completely, it just messes up. But one day, maybe about a week ago, it went completely offline, and um, I felt deserted. <laughs> I, I basically had to uh, learn how to do my homework by myself. <laughs> and um, it was an interesting experience, because I really didn't think that I was that, I mean, addicted almost to the internet until I didn't have it. I think everyone's aware that by now, the whole world is interconnected. And so, by the time I'm probably 40, the way business is probably going to be conducted, and even now, it's mostly via the internet and different modes of media. And so, kind of this hyperconnectedness that we have now, it's kind of foreshadowing what's going to be coming up in, in the future. My childhood was filled with swing sets and you know going outside and touching things. So that really shaped who I am today. And I don't, I, I haven't hung out with six-year-olds lately, but I don't know how much of that they're getting, and I worry that in 20 years they will be getting much, much less of it. And, and as they stop getting out into the physical world and start going into the digital world, there are certain things like pornography in the digital world that, that, that worries me and worries, should worry everybody. So I, I think, you know, they can, they'll be exposed to the internet since the day they're born, but I don't think they should become addicted to it like we are until they're, they're rational enough. When the internet came out, um, like I said, I was in about seventh grade, or when I became aware of it. And my parents knew nothing about it. They didn't know how to send emails. I think they actually really just learned that a few years ago. Um, and, you know, there, I think it was harder when I was younger, um, because I had to learn how to navigate the internet by myself. I had to learn, you know, how to avoid, how to, you know, set, make, set privacy settings and all of that. Um, and I think, people around my age, our parents just weren't informed because it was so new at the time to them. And I think now it's, I don't know, more than 10 years old. And so I think, especially when we're older, there will be there will be more communication. And I think you're right, you know, it, that there, sh there shouldn't really be a definite age where, where they can start or they shouldn't start. But I think a lot of it is up to the parents to make sure that their children are using the internet the right way, whether you want them to use it for educational purposes or whether you want them to, you know, for entertainment, it doesn't really matter as long as there's that open dialogue between the two. I think you and me, like 22, 23, we're at a unique age in that we came of age right when the internet was booming. And, and that was when the internet was still pretty, not, I wouldn't say unregulated, but it was pretty new in everybody's mind, so no one knew what would happen. Um, so, and I navigated the internet by myself. My mom still doesn't know how to use email. Um, and so, so I've done it all by myself, and that is risky. I'm surprised I came out. I think I came out. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but it's been, it's been a great learning experience, and so to touch on Derek's question, how it's going to affect me in the workplace, the fact that A, I learned it all by myself, and B, I use it so much now, especially major in communications, or, but still any major, Knowing it so well now is going to help us so much in the future. It's funny watching some of our professors, like on the on the big screen, they'll pull up a website and try to play the video, and they have no idea what they're doing. They'll click it a couple times, and all of us are just sitting there like, we just click the left button, it'll go. And none of us are say it because we're just going to walk. It takes them like 20 minutes to figure it out, and and all of us know that we're just going to walk it's so weird. So, and so I, I don't want to say that those older generations are unprepared, but I think if you're my age and you're unprepared, you are in a trouble because um, it's, it's everywhere and it needs to be everywhere. We don't have to give up our privacy. I mean, I, I think the main thing is that users should just have control over um, their information. 
And some people like, if you're talking about you know, behavioral or targeted advertising, some people like that. You know, some people like to have um, you know, the latest sales or information delivered to your, to your email inbox or your RSS feed or whatever. Um, but I think that you should have that choice. Ethic favors an opt-in approach um, with that with those kind of matters. I mean, you know, you should be able to opt in to disclosure of your information, collection, disclosure of your information, and not necessarily opt out, which is what the default is. That yeah, websites will collect all of your information, and um, I think it'd be a better approach if you started with no disclosure and then worked your way up. And if you choose to, then you can disclose your information or have your information disclosed. Um, I feel like most young people get their news online, and I feel like most young people still trust CNN, um, the Associated Press, the New York Times, but I feel like the mainstream media has been degraded to the level of bloggers. I just realized this summer how much information in the news and current affairs that I've got from Facebook, because that's when I found out that Michael Jackson had died, how I found out that Patrick Swayze dying. And just a lot of these big things people would comment on them, or even on Twitter as well, because you now I've followed um, and some people on, on Twitter and things, so I find out things through there as well. And rather than watching television or news, really, I just find it all through the internet. From my age, 15, uh, no one really reads the newspaper unless you're reading about sports or comics. And um, I think it ultimately the news comes from the newspaper, but it's just put onto sites like Yahoo on like on their main page articles and then people link those to Facebook. So a citizen journalism thing, which I think is another thing of our age that um, all of us have gotten so accustomed to technology that we all know how to use it. And so it makes it all easier for us to share information, whether it be true or not, but it still <laughs> it gives us more power than we had before in the fact that we can be journalists in our own right without even being trained to do so because we can just share what we see from our different perspectives all over the world and immediately link it onto a blog or something and that way participate in journalism. And I think that's interesting because it just shows, I think, that our future is more interested in, rather than mainstream media and seeing it from the objective <laughs> standpoint, you have, you see it more from like a personal thing, like how a person sees it as an eyewitness viewpoint rather than a professional journalist. And it may or may not have negative effects, but it's still an interesting feature of the Teens are aware of what copyright is, but they're not really care about it. There's systems like LimeWire, where you can easily download a song, uh, download anything you want, without having that risk of, you know, having any consequences. I think we are aware of what can happen to you if you are caught doing something that's illegal. Uh, but there isn't that, there isn't that much fear uh, within my, my age group, I think, of, of any legal consequences.